If I want to create quickly a set of baseline or continued dimensions, I can use my Quick Dimension tool. When you click on Quick Dimension, it asks you to select the geometry that you would like to have dimensioned. Now I could select these one by one or I could use a window. And when I right click I get a preview of what the dimensions are going to look like. I have options of how these dimensions will be placed. If I right click you notice that I can pick continuous and these are placed as continuous dimensions. If I quick dimension and choose staggered then I'll get dimensions that are staggered and they're spaced um, accordingly. If I choose quick dimension and choose baseline, then I have a set of baseline dimensions all dimensioning from this base edge. When I have two extension lines that cross each other I should break one of the extension lines to let the other one pass through. I can use my break tool on my dimension uh, palette and when I activate this tool it asks me to select the dimension with the extension line that's going to be broken. The default is auto so if I just hit enter it automatically finds that extension line and breaks the crossing point. Notice that my dimension continues to act uh, as one unit. So I haven't exploded my dimension in the process of creating a break or even if I adjust my dimension that break point will stay in the same place. To remove a break I use my break tool again choose the same dimension. This time I'll use a down arrow to look at my options and I'll click on remove and now I've removed that break. When I have a set of stacked dimensions like this and I want to adjust the spacing so that they're even, I can use my uh, adjust space tool to evenly space these out. To use this tool I click on it and it asks me to select a base dimension. So the base dimension would generally be the first dimension closest to the object and then select the dimensions that I want to space. I can select these by clicking on them individually or I could use a window. Once I've selected all the dimensions that I want to space I hit enter and I can either enter a value or I can use auto. Auto is the default. If I hit enter right now it automatically spaces those dimensions. I can also adjust the spacing by entering my own value. I'm going to choose adjust space. Again I'll choose the base dimension and then I'll choose using a crossing window those other dimensions. Um, I'll hit enter and this time I'm going to enter a value of 0.5 for the spacing of my dimensions and now they've been spaced at half an inch apart.